All right, so how do you use Minichat? What's the difference between a flow, a growth tool, a sequence, a broadcast? Like, what does all this mean? Oh, I was super overwhelmed when I was first trying to learn the platform myself. Um, but I assure you, after this video, you're gonna be fully versed in what all this terminology means and how you can use it to integrate chatbots into your business. My name is Hannah Gardner, so if you guys are new to the channel, please don't forget to like down here and subscribe. If you do my, enjoy my content, I'm putting out videos and new content regularly. All right guys, welcome back. So remember in this video, we are talking about what the difference is between a growth tool, a broadcast, a flow, and some of these automation tools here inside of Minichat. Um, I know in the beginning I was super overwhelmed, but once you just kind of learn the language here, it's really, really not that difficult. Um, so just to cover some of these things, um, in many chats, some of the basic things, your dashboard is just your normal analytics. Like on any platform, you have your analytics. Um, you can see I have 108 subscribers here, um, unsubscribes or unsubscribers here, um, and all that good stuff. You can change the date and see how your subscriber growth has accumulated over time. Um, here you can actually go to your list of subscribers. You can sort them based off of tags, based off of language, gender, time zone, their name. If you just want to search somebody and give them a tag, um, you can do that in the audience tab. Your live chat essentially is just, this will start popping up if someone answers a question to your bot or they like answer, start a conversation um, inside of like your Facebook page. Like this conversation will show up here as well as just people answering um, out of the parameters of like something that your bot is asking for. So like if after like a bot sequence goes fires off and someone like puts in an extra message that like wasn't part of that sequence, it will show up in your live chat here. And you can actually come in here and answer questions and talk to people. This will actually get connect to your Facebook page and send the message back um, right from here. So this is where we get into like the nitty gritty stuff of it, which like looking at it can be a little overwhelming and confusing at first. Um, but once you understand it's super easy. So your growth tool is similar to, um, like you use growth tools to get people to su subscribe to your bot. So similar to email marketing, like you can't just like blast your email list if they didn't consent to getting marketed to. It's the same thing with mini chat. And so that's what growth tools do. And it's, there's a few different ways that you can like sneakily get people to like subscribe to your bot or get them into your bot. Um, but that's how you initially get someone to come in to, to get into your list or you're, you're subscribed to the bot. Um, so if you come up here to new growth tool, I can show you a few examples. So like, for example, you could have a pop-up window appearing in the center of your screen. And so sometimes when you go to websites, like there's this one website, hoey.com. You know how when you go to like an e-com website, sometimes after a few seconds, like a pop-up will come up. It might not pop up for me since I was already on the website. But there'll be a pop-up window here that says, you know, submit your email address and you'll get 50% off your first purchase. Um, so when you're, what they're actually doing in that moment, when you put in your email address, it's you consenting to their marketing in exchange, they're going to give you 50% off, but you just subscribe to their email sequence. And it's the same kind of idea with chatbots. Um, so you could actually replace that on your website or your landing page. And instead of incentivizing to get their email, you can incentivize them by, you know, giving them a discount and then getting them to subscribe to your bot instead. So as you see in mini chat, that's an option. This pop up, you could put, you can embed it into a bar in the top of your website like that. You could do, let's see what else you can make a page takeover. You can have a slide pop in, but uh, a slide in pop up thing. Um, you can embed a button into your website. You can use a box in your website. Um, something that I use most frequently is a messenger ref URL. So 
So I use Messenger Ref URLs the, like the most out of any of these things. What this actually does when you make a when you start, when you use this as a growth tool, what it does is it make, gives you a URL. So when you send someone this URL, it sends them directly to your messenger chat bot. So for instance, this is, I just made, if I go back and create a new growth tool, hit messenger rep URL. And then, you know, this is my message. I can come in here and edit it here. I can edit the, the message that it goes to, but say I just want to get that URL changed. I did all the editing, change everything. I can copy this URL. And if I send someone this URL or I embedded this URL into a website, into like a button or something, it would send me to the bot. Now it says, welcome Hannah, thank you for subscribing. The next, po the next post is coming soon, blah, blah, blah. So I could edit this message and start a sequence from there. So that's what a growth tool is. It's how you get people into your, to subscribe to essentially your list. Similar, just the same thing as email marketing. Um, now, as far as what a broadcast is, a broadcast is this, in the, think of it as the same set, in the same sense of like broadcasting a single message to your list that already exists. So a broadcast would be like if, you know, we have a new special coming up and I wanted to give an exclusive offer to all my um, subscribers or whatever. I can come up here and create a broadcast and send out a single message or update or a survey or whatever it is that I want to do. And I can blast that to my whole list or I can, you know, send it to a segment of my list or only, you know, people in my list that have this tag, you know, with whatever. Now, if you come into automation, you can make these automations do a lot of different things. So when you first get mini chat, um, it automatically has this enabled. Um, I'm pretty sure it's already enabled. So if you don't want these default messages, like the automated messages to pop up, you have to come in here, actually disable them. So a default reply is, this is all, can these two, your default reply and your welcome message. I was really confused about this <laughs> in the beginning. I didn't understand why like random messages that like I didn't make were popping up. But a default reply is when, um, when someone goes to your Facebook page. So if I go to, I don't even think any of these are set up. If I went to, let me see. Sometimes when you go to, let's see. Send a message. Okay, well this page doesn't have it. But anyway, it's usually when somebody sends a Facebook page a message and a default reply comes up saying, hey, um, we'll get back to you as soon as possible or we'll get back to you in between one and two business days. So that's what a default reply is and it, Minichart already has this set up for you and already enabled for your so Facebook page because this is linked to your business Facebook page. So it says blank typically replies in one day. If you want to talk to someone, just press talk to a human button and talk to a human. Um, and then, okay, just type in your message and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. So this is something that Minichat has set up. If you want to change this, you need to come in here and change it. If you don't even want that to happen when someone met, like messages your page, then you have to disable it. Same thing with the welcome message. So a default reply is like when like you go to someone's Facebook page and you send them a message and it's just saying, hey, we'll get back to you as soon as possible. A welcome message is when you go to someone's Facebook page and um, you know how when you go to someone's Facebook page and sometimes like a message automatically fires like open to get you to interact with the page? That's what a welcome message does. So I have this disabled here as well. Um, but this is actually really powerful for some like business Facebook pages to just get them to interact like right off the bat and see like what help they need. Um, so again, that's like when you sometimes when you go to business Facebook pages, like a message just like already starts firing. And it's like, welcome to our Facebook page. Um, but that I think both of these are already enabled when you make mini chat. So you might want to come in here and edit your message or your default reply right off the bat. Um, so yeah, you have to be careful with the default reply though, because if you are sending a broadcast or something 
and people like interact with the bot sometimes <laughs> and they don't realize that it's a bot so like after maybe like a broadcast or like a sequence or something like that you sent out people will like reply <laughs> and then this default reply will like happen automatically like saying hey we'll get back to you like as soon as possible and it could be like a little bit confusing um so you might want to like disable the default reply um, up to you, but it, you'll see like in the, in the broadcast, they'll like all these different messages will start like conflicting because people are answering the bot. Um, and the default reply will always respond whether it has to do with, um, the broadcast or not. So here is where you can see all of your flow. So everything is, you can think of <laughs> all of these things as, um, a flow. So when you make a growth tool, it comes into a flow. When you make a broadcast, pretty sure that comes into a flow as well. Maybe not. Um, okay, yeah, just kidding. So broadcasts don't come into your flows, but all of these things are your flows. So like an opt-in message is, can, goes into this flow for folder, and then you can make different folders up here. Um, so for instance, my opt-in messages, which are all my growth tools are under here. My keywords are here. So if someone types in these keywords, it's gonna perform these actions. This is something that ManyChat automatically has. Your sequences, um, that's if, that's like a little bit advanced if you wanna make a sequence. Um, essentially, like there's a bunch of different things that you can do with sequences. Like, um, for instance, if you send out a broadcast asking them a question, um, and based off how they answered that question, that could subscribe them to a sequence, which fires like a bunch of different messages. So that's how kind of how you use sequences, um, as long as, as well as keywords. These are like the standard keywords, like that people can say that makes them do certain things. Um, so all your automations are here, but sorry, back to flows. Um, yeah, it's just kind of organizing everything that you've made. So your default replies, your welcome messages, your sequences, your main menu content. I don't even have that for my Facebook page. Um, but yeah, that's kind of how the brain of mini chat works. Um, I mean, if you go through this after this video, it shouldn't take you more than a few days to really get the hang of it. Um, and then future next video, I'm actually going to show you how to make a, um, ref URL. I'm going to show you from start to finish how you can make a ref URL and set it up, um, in like a, in a whole flow. Um, but yeah, that is basically how many chat works. That's what a broadcast is, a growth tool. Um, just some of all, all, pretty much all the most important features that you have to understand to be able to use the platform. Um, if you guys have any questions, comment down below. And if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys soon.